Hello. Hello. Right. Uh, now we move the default text to the next section. Uh, temporary difference approach. So earlier we uh, focused on income income statement approach. Now we move to balance sheet approach, a temporary difference approach. So this focus on uh, balance sheet, this focus on the balance sheet impact of the difference, differences and calculates the tax that would have been paid if the net assets of the entity were realized at book value at the balance sheet date. Right, uh, now uh, we assume that uh, we decided to sell the asset. So you know that when we uh, sell any asset, we have to find the profit. So how do we find the profit on disposal of asset? We take the uh, care cost and we deduct the depreciation. You know? So then we will get the carrying amount and we have to deduct this carrying amount from the uh, tax pro sorry cash proceeds right the cash price selling price minus carrying value then we will get the profit but when we calculate this profit based on the uh, accounting pro uh, tax provision we have to charge the depreciation on different rate than the uh, accounting rate so when we calculate the uh, pro uh, taxable profit, we have to use the government allowed tax depreciation to find profit on disposal of assets. So that's what we are going to discuss here. So here this focus on the balance sheet impact of differences and calculate the tax that would have been paid if the net assets of the entity were realized. Realized mean uh sold out at book value at balance sheet date the temporary difference is the difference between the carrying amount of an asset or liability is the balance sheet and its tax base right again the temporary temporary difference arises due to the differences differences between the carrying amount and the tax base so we're repeating the same thing again and again. Here, uh, right. Same calculation as we did in the earlier slides, but the difference here, uh, they have at this row. So this is the temporary differences, temporary difference. Carrying the amount, this row, minus tax base. So this is the carrying amount, 250, tax based 125, the balance net figure is 25. Likewise, we calculate it, calculate this for all period, right? And uh, here, the provision for deferred tax under this temporary difference method is based on what tax become payable. If the asset were realized at book value, at the balance sheet date. We compare the carrying value of the items per account, the tax base, right? We are going to compare uh, the profit based on the accounting provisions and tax provisions. So which is the value of the item of tax purposes? For example, uh, if PPE is sold for 180 rupees, 180,000 rupees at the end of year 2012. This period, we are going to sell the asset at this period 2012. We purchased in 2010, we are going to sell it in 2012 after one, two, three years. The taxable profit and the resulting tax charges are calculated as follows. The yeah, accounting profit is simple, no? So, it the how much the selling price is 180,000, right? cash proceeds, sales proceeds, 180,000. And carrying value, how do we calculate carrying value? Here, 
So cost is 300,000 and the accumulated depreciation 50, 50, 50. How much? 150. So 300 minus 150 equal 150, right? It's value carrying amount. Then how much profit, accounting profit? Accounting profit on disposal of asset equal 30,000. And 30,000 into 30% interest rate, 30% tax rate, it's equal 9,000. 9,000 is uh, income tax on disposal of PPE. And uh, when we uh, consider these sales based on tax amendments, tax provisions, here the same profit proceeds selling amount is 80, but carrying amount is 75. How we get this 75? So we have used this asset for three years. No, one, two, three, three years. So 75, 75, 75. All together, how much? How much? 100, uh, 225. 225. Then 300 minus 225 equal 75,000. This one. The carrying amount is 75,000. So we have we it here. So 180 minus 75,000 equal 105. Here, the profit on tax computation, how much? Taxable profit is 105. So uh, the tax rate is 30%, 105 into 30% 30 equal 31,500. See the difference. Based on the accounting provisions, we have to pay tax 9,000, but based on the tax provisions, we have to pay tax 31,500, see the difference, right? Same calculation. And additional amount of rupees 22,500. How do we get this? 31,500 minus 9,000 equal 2,000, so 22,500, it's a difference. Will be paid in year 2002, 2012, if that asset is sold in the year. Right. If the asset is sold in 2012, right? If the asset is sold in 2012, we have to pay tax 31,500. Right. So now here the taxable difference, temporary difference. Here 2550. How it arises? How the carrying amount minus tax base. See the carrying amount and tax base. So the same figure. Let's carry it here. Bring here. And uh, here, so we have to pay additional tax. No, how much? Uh, Twenty-two thousand five hundred. See here. No calculation here. The, the calculation is very simple. It's twenty-five thousand into thirty percent, seven point five. It's a deferred tax. 2012, 50,000 into 30%, 15%. 2012, deferred tax, uh, temporary defense 75 into 30%, 2025. 20, 20, 20, 20, 2,500. Right? Yeah, when, when, we, when the asset is sold, that period in 2012, we have to pay additional tax to 22,500. Here, yeah, no? See, yeah. right? And uh, if you sell the asset in 2013, again, uh, how much? The additional tax is here, this amount, right? Like that. And uh, why do we recognize deferred tax? Why do we recognize deferred tax? Adjustment for deferred tax. Deferred tax is a liability, no? Deferred tax because, so what's the reason? So what is the reason to uh, recognize as a deferred tax? In the earlier period, we pay less tax. This less tax, the, the difference we have to pay in the future. So this event will, uh, make us future liability, future payable. Adjustment for the deferred tax are made in accordance with accrual concepts. Accrual concept, you know what is accrual concept, right? 
and in accordance with the definition of liability in the conceptual framework that is a past event past event here the past event is what uh, the carrying value we uh, depreciate the asset we depreciate the asset in uh, in accounting purpose so a higher rate but in the tax purpose we are depreciating lower rate sorry it's a different rate no uh, here we depreciate uh, the asset in for the accounting purpose at higher rate but uh, for the tax purpose so lower rate oh, sorry the accounting purpose uh, depreciation charge on lower rate than the tax provisions right so due to that uh, we are end up with a higher profit in the accounting treatment and but the taxation rules we are end up with lower profit due to that we have to pay the low amount of tax right low amount of tax so this low amount will be the liability because we have to pay in future we have to pay in future here when we compare here we are deducting a low amount in the first year the second year third year and fourth year but in the fifth year see we deduct 50 we deduct nothing and sixth year we deduct 50 but nothing here so due to that differences uh, we have to pay additional one additional amount in the future that now tax base tax savings become a liability in future we have to pay i have explained it in the earlier sessions uh, right that is the past events has uh, uh, given rise to an obligation in the form of increased taxation which will be payable in the future. The amount can be reliably estimated. So uh, according to the framework definition, it can, it should be estimated, estimated reliably, reliably, right? There is no uh, probability amount, thoughtful amount. A deferred tax asset similarly meets the definition of an asset, right? So same concept will be applied in deferred tax, deferred tax assets. But here uh, we talk about deferred tax liability. So when deferred tax liability, deferred tax asset arises, when tax base, sorry, the carrying amount is less than the tax base, and uh, we will end up with deferred tax asset. In the future, tax consequences of transactions are not recognized. Right? What will happen if you are not care about the deferred tax? What will happen? profit can be overstated profit can be overstated it is leading to overpayment of dividend and distortion of share share price and eps in the future right in the future we have to uh, pay a big amount of a tax so that time the company will be struggle on this now we will do a small sum right to our understanding purpose and uh, we owe the we owe the limited acquired uh, non current assets on 1st of april 2003 for rupees 5 million the asset uh, so acquired qualified for tax allowances at the rates below mentioned so government approved rate for tax depreciation in the year one fifty percent that should be in straight line basis the second year again fifty percent but it is on reducing balance basis the third year so balance remains so with your with your the limited depreciate all its non current assets at twenty percent a year on straight line basis assume the rate of corporate income tax applying to Vyoda Limited for the year concerned is 30% and Vyoda Limited has no other qualifying and non-current assets. So it simply, uh, it simply, we can say in other, other in our words, uh, accounting provisions, the company's provisions to depreciate the asset at 20% rate, but the government says a different rate. 
so definitely we know that due to these differences uh, the differ text will arise actual text and the accounting text will be differ so we have to make some provisions it may be in the form of in uh, a differ text asset or differ text liability so it's based on uh, tax base and carrying amount you are required to apply lks 12 income taxes and show for each relevant accounting period ended 2000 so ended uh, to 31st march so this is exam type question right uh, in when you see the past paper this kind of questions you may encounter with and uh, first you, we have to find uh, the taxable or deductible temporary differences taxable different taxable temporary difference mean uh deferred tax liability deductible temporary difference mean uh, it arises uh, it causes uh, deferred tax asset and deferred tax liability or assets balances to be shown in the statement of financial position and the deferred tax to be charged in the statement of comprehensive income but we will work out on this. I, I think you have more time. Right, we will work out how many years uh, one two three years no three years uh, in terms of uh, counting 20 percent i mean how many years we can use it how many years we can use this asset any response if it is 20 percent how many years we can use it No answer. If a account depreciation is twenty percent, means how many years we can use this? Five years. Twelve years. How many years? Five years. Yeah, five years. Good. Five years. And now we take uh, the carrying amount. Carrying amount mean cost, no? Uh, carrying amount. Carrying amount. And initially, we had carrying amount it's equal 500,000, 5 million, no? 5,000, 5 million. And uh, accounting depreciation 20%, isn't it? 20%. Then 5,000 into 20%. Right, 20,000 means we accounting deposition how much? 1,000. And, and uh, carrying amount, end of how much carrying amount? 5,000 minus 1,000 equal 4,000, right? And uh, in 2004, uh, this balance comes here, right? Then we drop it. Right? Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, not reducing, straight line basis, no? Straight line basis mean we have to find depreciation from this value, isn't it? We have to find depreciation on this value. It means we have to lock it. Right, end of year six, we will get zero balance. So this is based on what accounting 
treatment. Now we move to we move it based on the text calculation. Now it's become tax base, isn't it? Tax base. Right, tax base here. Mm, how much? Is it it's equal five hundred, five million, no? Five million. And how much depreciation? Tax depreciation for the year first year. How much? Tax depreciation. How much? Fifty percent. Then how much? Fifty percent. How much? Any answers? How much? 2,500. 2,500. And balancing figure will be 5,000 minus 2,500 equal 2,500. In the second year, how much? Second year. How much? Any answers? Tax base will be this amount. And how much? Tax depreciation this year? Any answers? 50 percent? 1,250. 50. Yeah, good, very good. So 50 percent. And uh, we get this value. Uh, again, in the third year, in the third year, how much? Third year, depreciation will be balancing figure. How much balancing figure? Right? Clear? Anything to ask on this calculation? So this is carrying amount throughout the period. This is the uh, tax base. Right now, we will find the first question is what? Uh, deduct taxable deductions, taxable or deductible temporary differences. First, we will calculate the uh, differences. Right now, the temporary difference. Temporary difference equal carrying amount minus tax base. That's how much? 1,500. The second year, third year, like that. Right? The second year, tax difference is uh, 1,450. Uh, tax base 2,000, 0, 2,000, 1,000, 0. Right. That is answer for question um, uh, part A. Right? Then B. Question B, deferred tax liability or assets balance to be shown in the statement of financial position. Now we calculate uh, how much deferred tax liability, deferred tax liability, right? How much? Uh, we know tax rate is 30 percent, isn't it? Tax rate is 30 percent. Then temporary difference into 30 percent, 450. Right? C. The deferred tax to be charged in the income statement of comprehensive income. Right, how much we have to charge in the comprehensive income. Right, uh, to understand this thing, uh, I will uh, do some additional matters on this question, right, for your better understanding, right? Right, so I assume that uh, this profit for the year, profit,
Yes. Uh, sorry for the interruption and uh, right now we assume that uh, uh, so can you explain the b part okay this one yeah the temporary difference no, different difference is this no so we know how to uh, calculate this one uh, carrying amount minus tax base is equal temporary difference right so we can calculate deferred tax or liability or deferred tax assets directly by multiplying uh, uh, temporary differences into the co corporate tax rate the corporate tax rate is how much 30 percent no percentage corporate tax is 30 percent and deferred uh, def temporary difference is uh, this value 1500 into 30 percent equal 450 right like that this year temporary difference into corporate tax rate like that now so how to pass the journal entries here so i don't have enough time to do a big sum right uh defer tax to be defer tax to be charged in the income statement statement of comprehensive income right so how do we simply we do it like this first uh, this is asset or liability this 450 is defer tax asset or liability Four hundred fifty. Asset or liability. So very easy way to find the compare carrying value and the tax base. If carrying amount is higher than the tax base, it's equal what? It's it costs what? Liability or asset. Defer tax liability or defer tax asset. When carrying value is higher than the tax base, it's lead to deferred tax liability. Deferred tax liability. Then what is the journal entry? Journal entry deferred tax liability is credit. How much? 450 and deferred tax. Deferred tax equal 450. So I can explain by using a big sum. Uh, say for example, okay. We have any lectures after five o'clock? We have any lectures? Any lectures? Oh, no issue. Now, uh, yeah, assume that uh, the same sum, right? The same sum I did in this way, right? Uh, right, all the figures are equal, right? The same sum. Right, now, for your understanding purpose, I assume that profit before depreciation interest and tax uh, 10 million for all five years right account the profit before interest and tax for all five years 10 million for understanding purpose and how much depreciation according depreciation for the year one equal this value you know 1000 thousand 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 right we deduct like this and profit before interest and tax 9 million and tax 30% of uh, I assume that here assume that uh, yeah, the, this, yeah, profit before in, 
depreciation interest and tax assume that 10 million right for all five years and how much according depreciation according depreciation is equal this value 1000 each year and how much profit after depreciation this value minus this value right and uh, tax 30% no 30% on this value and profit after tax right right so this is the uh, tax payable according to the uh, accounting provisions but this amount not accepted by the tax authorities therefore we have to calculate taxable profit this is accounting profit isn't it this is accounting profit we have to calculate taxable profit then we copy the same thing and uh, here uh, tax depreciation tax depreciation equal here this value you know this value right then it's last here right and uh, so uh, prof this value minus tax depreciation equal profit after tax profit after depreciation and uh, we will get the tax 30 percent no into 30 percent and profit after tax equal amount minus value right now work out on this right now see the difference in uh, see the difference in year one thousand three the tax according to the tax provision we have to pay tax two thousand seven hundred but here how much we pay tax how much difference Four hundred fifty. So first we will pass the journal entry, right? We will pass the journal entry for this. Are you clear about this? This calculations. Are you clear? Are you all clear on these calculations? If not, it's useless. Are you all clear? No response. Anyone? Is it clear? Calculations? Huh, right. People are like this. Then how can we teach effectively? Right. Now, so you know how, how to how to pass the accounting entries so this is the actual amount tax payable for this year right for in 2000 uh, 2003 you have to pass the accounting entries like this uh, tax expenses tax expenses this amount and cash book no cash if we dissipate on cash credit equal this amount Right, but according to the tax provision, according to the accounting provision, we already estimated two two thousand seven hundred, two thousand seven hundred, but actual payment is two thousand two hundred fifty. Right, 
So we are paying less tax. We are paying less tax. So, so this less tax arises due to what? The differences in depreciation rate. So therefore, we have to recognize as a liability. We now we pay how much less tax? How much difference? Difference between actual tax and the uh, accounting tax, current tax and accounting tax. Any answers? Please at least answer for this question. How much? Four hundred fifty. Four hundred fifty. How right? Four hundred fifty. How we get it? Uh, this one amount minus. Four hundred. This is called what? Deferred tax expense. Deferred tax expense. And uh, four hundred fifty. And deferred tax liability equal four hundred fifty. Right? In the PL account. In the PL account. What do you, what do you see? So this tax will be go to the PL account, profilus account, and uh, this amount also will go to the PL account, and this amount will be go to the balance sheet. Now see, uh, say for example, uh, profit. Assume we have assume profit how much? Ten thousand no profit before tax profit. Uh, before tax, it was 10 million, right? Now income tax, in current tax, no? Current tax, current tax equal this amount. And uh, deferred tax, deferred tax equal 450. Then how much? How much total tax? Total tax, how much? Now, in the profit less account, profit before tax. How much total tax? 2,700. 2,700. See the balance. 2,700. Now it's telling you, know, it's telling with here. Right. So in the in the financial statement, how we see profit after tax equal profit for this period. Right, seven thousand three hundred. Profit nine thousand. No. Yeah, you can find the same value. Same figure you can find here, right? In the 2017, 2004, in 2004, current tax how much? In the journal entry, current tax how much? Current tax. Current tax. Can you say the journal entry? Two thousand six hundred and twenty. Uh, this 2625 will go to tax, tax expenses, tax expenses debit, case account or income tax payable account credit. And deferred tax 525 is debit. It will be go to the uh, PL account. And again, it will be go to the deferred tax liability as deferred tax liability in the balance sheet. See the figure again accounting profit 9000. Current tax, how much? Current tax, this amount, current tax, and uh, deferred tax, how much? Deferred tax, see this figure, deferred tax 25. Now, see the balance. 2250 total tax here yeah. and uh, 3110 not like not that not that uh, 265 
depends how much right and uh, in 2005 actual tax expenses 2006 2225 i think it's on there difference we Right, this value. We made mistakes on the arrays. Right, you, you, what do you know? What do you want to know is uh, how to pass the general entry for deferred tax. Yeah, we find deferred tax this amount here, no? So I did too early. Let's see what. So, how to pass the journal entries? How to pass journal entries? For so in 2003, the uh, first uh, we passed the current tax, right? Current tax expenses, debit, and uh, deferred tax, debit. And deferred tax liability is credit and cash amount this value is credit any questions to ask any questions to ask and uh, part c the deferred tax to be charged in the statement of comprehensive income is what the amount of deferred tax yeah. same amount here Deferred tax to be charged in the statement of comprehensive income. So there are some mistakes. Uh, anything to ask? We don't have, uh, then uh, please uh, mark your attendance. 